how moving on really affects the narcissist. How does it affect the narcissist when you finally move on? When you decide that you don't want to deal with them anymore? When you realize that you're better off without them? When you go no contact? How does it affect them when you finally do that? When you are with the narcissist, they want you to think that they're fine without you. That they don't really need you. They will even try to make you feel like you're a problem. Like you're causing setbacks or difficulties in their lives. They will make you feel like you're not good enough or that you need to change everything about yourself to make them happy. They will act like they don't really need you. But since you're there, you might as well do everything they want, when they want, just to make their lives easier. Because in their minds, that's just what you're supposed to do. That's your job or role in the relationship. To cater to their needs. To meet their every demand. That is your purpose whenever you are around them. And they will make you believe that their lives were so much easier before they met you. Everything was perfect. They will make you believe that they didn't have to deal with all of the problems or drama that they have to deal with with you. Their lives were stress free. They were more productive. They did everything on their own. And yet now that they're with you they've somehow become this totally different person. Now they are heavily dependent on you. They take up a lot of your time. They can't do anything on their own. They need you to regulate their emotions. But if you were to bring this to them, they would minimize everything you do for them. They would tell you that they do everything and that you're lazy or not good enough. Whenever you do anything for the narcissist, they're never grateful. They're never appreciative. They expect you to do everything for them. They feel entitled to your time, energy and money. And no matter how much you give to them, they will always want more. They will always act like it's not enough. They can never be satisfied. And even if you spend every second of the day with them, they will tell everyone that you're never around. Even if you spend every penny you have on them, they will act like you don't give them anything. Even if you do all of the work, all of the cooking and cleaning, 
they will tell you that you don't do anything. Narcissists are very ungrateful people. It is impossible to satisfy a narcissist over a long period of time. They have these insatiable needs that can never be fulfilled. They can never be satisfied. You will be endlessly running on their hamster wheel, getting nowhere. They will always be miserable. And nothing you do is going to change that. At some point in the relationship, you wake up. You become aware that nothing you do is going to make this person happy. If you look back, you may even notice a pattern in their behaviour. The more you do, the more miserable and dissatisfied they become. In their minds, they think that if you do more, it will make them happy. But it never does. It just makes them worse. Because they cannot partake and get the same fulfillment from those activities as we can. And that just makes them more mad. You realise that nothing you do is going to change their behaviour. Nothing you do is going to make them like you or be happy with you. You accept that they're always going to be this way. You realise that it's time to move on. You value your peace and joy more than this relationship. You value your self-respect. So you get yourself out of there. You walk away. And when you move on, it does affect the narcissist. Because although they made you believe that life was so much easier before they met you, that wasn't true. Narcissists are good at putting on a show. They're good at displaying a deceptive appearance and making you believe they're something that they're not. The narcissist was never happy. They were always miserable. And being with you was a distraction from how they really felt about themselves. They were trying to escape from their miserable lives. And when you leave, they no longer have anything to distract themselves. They're forced to self-reflect or seek out another distraction. And while that may distract them temporarily, they're going to be really mad at you because you left them without any supply. You left them without any help or support.
A narcissist cannot be alone for long. They would drive themselves insane. And by leaving them, they see it as though you are attacking them. You are causing them more problems. The narcissist can't live with you, but then they can't live without you. They act like you're a problem whenever you're around them. But when you finally leave, you become an even bigger problem. Because you were their life support. You were keeping them together. When you move on, it leaves the narcissist without an emotional punching bag. Without a doormat that they can walk all over. It leaves them alone to their own thoughts and feelings. Something they cannot deal with. Which is why they always need a distraction. They need constant fights, arguments or entertainment to distract themselves. And you were that distraction. So when you move on the narcissist has to seek out another distraction. Either by talking to people about you and starting a smear campaign, or looking for another primary source of supply. Whatever it takes to get their minds off of themselves. Because although the narcissist expected you to see it as a privilege to even be around them, the last person they want to spend time with is themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join our support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsviver.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.